I want to um, follow up on your comment, though. You you wrote an op-ed recently, uh, and there was also um, a, a sort of a, a lot of response to that about um, eliminating art history mm. from what in the UK is called A-level curriculum. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was incredibly well written and incredibly important. But can you speak a little bit about that? This op ed is from October 2016. Well, it comes back to what I, to what I, to what I said that um, on the face of it, art history being not a practical subject, not immediately helpful going forward in a future career, that it should be discarded. It's profoundly dangerous because I, I turn it upside down. I turn it the other way up. Here's something which talks about your background, your memory, what your parents learned, what, your, what you might contribute constructively to society, about making, about feeling, all of these things in this package, which we happen to call art history. And to leave that out is to, is to make the menu rather banal. Um, Particularly for young people. Young people are natural romantics. They're full of risk, courage. They're not enormously sensible, thank God. <laughs> because, in fact, someone said that uh, young people, teenagers are like, like artists. They learn to live with um, uncertainty because everything's changing, they're, they're growing. That's a tremendous value for society. So these subjects like art history provide an opportunity for a sort of uh, a way into something else that isn't just completely useful. I'm actually saying it is profoundly useful, but it's not surface useful. 